All right, everyone, welcome back to Bible Inspired. Today, we're going to go over Logos, new system of subscriptions. And we'll go over a couple of them. I'll show you uh, some little tricks. Again, this is all new to everybody. So uh, I'll be doing videos to constantly show you the tricks that I learned because there's not really many videos on Logos that can help you. Uh, but if you do find this video helpful, like, subscribe, and share. And if you do use the link in the description box below of Logos, you'll actually get a discount off of this. And uh, if you become a member and it will give you some free stuff, some books and stuff like that. And, and it will help you build your library up. So if you do use that, that would be grateful. And uh, it does help out this ministry. Okay, so Logos has three different subscriptions that you can have. There's premium, uh, which comes in at like 119. But if you're already a member, uh, it will be $69. And it also depends on what size member you are. Uh, that that will give you a bigger discount or a lower discount depending on which uh, which premium plan that you have with Logos. Uh, but th that that's what it'll be like. Uh, then you have the Pro, which is one seventy nine a year, and uh, you can see that my discount would be be only a hundred bucks a year. And then we have the Max over here that is uh, actually two hundred and thirty nine a year. But if you have Logos already, you can see that I'm already a Logos ten owner. Therefore, I uh, would only have to pay one twenty nine per year. Uh, uh, let me scroll down, and you can see that now it starts breaking down the different um, different uh, stuff that comes with it, and how you'll get more stuff if you go higher. Uh, you can all check all this out by yourself if you'd like, and you can come to the conclusion which one you want. I actually have the max right now. And so that's what we're going to look over, but you can check this out. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of the video is to jump right into Logos and, and show you some tricks that I, that I uh, learned so far by just playing around with it. Uh, first of all, when you update your, your, your subscription and you buy the subscription, you'll have this little fellow right here. Uh, you can see that this is now the smart search. And uh, so you can put something in there that you want and then it'll generate stuff and we'll show that in a second. Uh, you can also have it uh, on your Bible. Uh, you have your Bible, now you have a bunch of new tabs and you have this insight button, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, and then you have uh, your exegetical uh, guide. I haven't found anything new that that the subscription uses, uh, so I have to keep testing that. And then you have your Bible study, uh, your Bible word study, and this actually pulls up some stuff, which we'll check out here in a second. And then the fact book is actually probably the coolest thing on here, uh, and we'll check that out all together. Uh, with that said, we'll start off in the Bible first. And then we'll work our way through there. And so this might be a little longer video than normal, but uh, it will go into some stuff that that I've learned. Uh, so here we can see that we're in Acts. We'll just switch to John 3.16. And you can see that now we're in John 3.16. Now the insight changes for us. So John 3.16 in the ESV says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Uh, so the insight right here, you can see that this is related books. So then you can just uh, click on it and you can see the related books. And this will be the uh, faith life Bible uh, that, that they're pulling from. I'm not for sure how you can change these. Uh, maybe you can't. Maybe it's just pulling from their, their own stuff. Uh, haven't learned that yet. Uh, but then we see that there's also another one that, uh, that we have, maybe these are under your preference settings, I guess. Um, uh, but you can see now you have another little section that is pulling from the gospel. According to John, this is a commentary, a Bible commentary by, uh, Dr. Brown. And you can see that that's what it is. Uh, then you have related passages. I think this is the best thing, uh, about this insight on here because uh, a lot of Bible studies or Bibles that are study Bibles will have little footnotes here. Uh, and uh, ESV does not for some reason. You have to buy the ESV notes that that accompany the ESV on Logos, uh, which I have, but it's a little pain. Um, but if you have like the KJV or the uh, Net Bible or something like that, they'll have notes there that will show you some uh, some related passages. What's beautiful, I think, is uh, about this insight is the related passages, because now you can go here and you can see where all the related passages is like in John first uh, John four, seven through 16. You can just hover over it and you can read this passage on it. Then it says that these are some more 
uh, related passages to John 3.16. This is good because if you're doing a Bible study on the book of John and you want to hone in on John 3.16, you can see that you can just go through here and pull from all these verses that are related to it, and then you can get a better grasp of what is being said here. Uh, so I think this is the, the, the best thing for this subscription on the Bible, uh, on this Bible uh, insight. And then you have the information button, and this information button is just going to be the same as it was prior to the upgrade, and it's just giving you insight on what the whatever you have up. So at that time, we have the uh, ESV up. Uh, but you can see that this is the, the best thing is probably the related passages. I know there is a, a lot of uh, related passage uh, commentaries where you can go through, uh, but the, the nice thing about this is that it's right there, right beside it, and you can uh, just turn it off if you want. You just hit the uh, little X, and if you want to bring it back up, you can bring it back up. Uh, the search the search button is really cool right here because you can use the search the same way as you did in uh, prior to getting a subscription. Uh, but let's just type in uh, what is the two powers in heaven. This is something that Dr. Michael Heiser um, talk extensively on, and it shows that there's two yod heh vav -Hey's in the Old Testament, and Jewish people actually preached that there was two powers in heaven prior to Jesus' uh, making his earthly ministry, and then all of a sudden he was rejected, and then so forth. Uh, but it, but you type in, what is the two powers in heaven? Oops. That's and so you can see that it gives you a little synopsis of it, but what's awesome about this new feature is that if you are writing papers as an academic student, it gives you the quotations. Now you may have to change it to your formats. If it's MLA or if it's um, whatever Chicago or whatever, you have to change it. Or if you want to change it into uh, parenthetical citations or narrative citations, you may have to change it a little bit, uh, but it gives you a synopsis and it gives you uh, some, some footnotes that you can just start off and, and you can be very vague in this question. Uh, and we'll do that here in a second, but you can see that it gives you a little synopsis. Uh, it says the concept of the two powers in heaven was a debated doctrine in Judaism around the time of early Christianity, challenging the traditional monotheist view. Uh, and then it goes into great detail. And quite frankly, just a side note, if you do study the two powers in heaven, uh, oh, it did pull my, Dr. Michael Heiser. Number two is Dr. Dr. Michael Heiser, the divine council. Um, if you study it, it was highly taught during uh prior to jesus and all the way up to 70 a.d it wasn't until after 70 a.d that it really got rid of the two powers in heaven uh nevertheless uh but then what what another cool thing that it happened that it pulls from since i do not have quotations on there it will pull from just like it does prior to the subscriptions and then now we can see that uh, it, it starts to pull from your library uh, which I have the book open. So it's going to pull from everywhere that Logos has, because um, if I don't have it, it'll give me the option to purchase this. And so we can see that it starts pulling from your, your library. Uh, and you can see that the debate issues, the two powers in heaven, and then it gives you a quotations and it gives you where it's pulling from. And this is pulling from the introduction of the gospel and acts, their background, nature, and purpose. And so you can see that, that this is where it's coming from. The cool thing about this, is that you can hit this little summary button and now it summarizes it for you. And now you can just cut and paste this and then add it as a citation into your paper that you're writing if you're an academic student, uh, which I am working on to get my PhD from Liberty. So this is going to be a fantastic tool that I'm going to continue to use and, uh, and so forth. Uh, and then you can see that it just gives you a whole plethora of uh, different quotes and you can just go through there and read them and, and uh, you can see, hey, I like this quote right here, the, the divine powers in heaven. And you can just hit the little summary button and then it takes a little bit. And then right there, bam, it summarizes it for you. I have noticed, just a side note, because you will have uh, birth pains in this transition, right? Uh, some of the these summarizations, they change a couple of words that may change the context of the summarizing of this passage or this uh, text, if you will. Uh, so I would highly suggest don't just cut and paste, read it through to make sure that it actually keeps the context of what is actually being said by the author that you're trying to quote. Uh, but it is a powerful tool and it should help you write papers pretty, pretty fast. 
Uh, I think that's pretty much the, the only thing that uh, is interesting. But if you go up here and you type in, let's just type in um, uh, what what did uh, Polycarp say about God or sorry, about Jesus being God? Uh, actually, I don't think Polycarp said it, so let's change it to Clements. Uh, we'll stay with Polycarp because let's see what it says. Polycarp. Uh, you can see Polycarp is, what does it say about Jesus? Again, it'll give you a little uh, synopsis of it, and then it'll give you a bunch of places where it's pulling from. Uh, let's see what it says. It says, the articles do not contain any direct statements about what Polycarp said regarding Jesus being God. However, one article mentioned that Polycarp's letter to the Ephesians there is a reference of our Lord and our God, Jesus Christ. So you can see that it didn't pull the exact quote, Jesus being God. However, it does point out that that Polycarp did call Jesus our, our God or God, Jesus Christ. And so you can see that the, this, this, maybe if I put quotations in there, it'll pull from that. But usually if you use quotations, it, it narrows that search down quite a bit. And, um, and so, so I don't usually use quotes unless I'm looking up like the Shema or, or, uh, the, the, a certain particular word like Theotokos, if you will, or, or something like that. I usually don't use quotations, uh, but this new search will pull from there and you can see that this just gives you a little synopsis and it gives you some citations, which is, I'm telling you, this is the best part about the, this, this search right here is because it's going to help you write, write your papers better. And then it gives you a bunch of uh, quotations in, inside there. And you can see that this one's pulling from the dictionary of the apostolic church. And then you can just hit summarize it and it will summarize it for you. And you just do your, your parenthetical citation or your, your uh, narrative citation and bam, you're off to the running. And this is probably 80 words here. And your for papers, 750 words, like most, most uh, colleges, uh, you're already what, 10% way there. <laughs> so it's going to make it a lot easier for you to write papers. And so, so this is a, a great tool that you can use. Uh, and so let's just type in, like, if you want to type in love, uh, love, and you just hit uh, enter, it'll do the smart love and it'll give you a little synopsis and then it breaks it down for you quite a bit. And, uh, and it'll give you the, uh, the Hebrew, the Aramaic and the, uh, and the Greek translations. And it says love is a complex concept with multiple dimensions. So it gives you a really cool uh, synopsis of it, gives you a bunch of citations and uh, tells you where you can pull from and you can change it a little bit if you'd like and only use portions of it. And then you can just see that it gives you plethora amount of uh, citations, uh, but you can type in anything that you want and it's going to pull up. What did the apostolic father say about a particular doctrine? And it's going to pull up for you. The exegetical guide, I have not seen anything new that this subscription does for this. Not saying that there's not one. I'm just saying I have not seen it. I, I've been playing around with it because I use the exegetical guide quite a bit. And uh, this is where I usually pull quotes from. And I, I love the exegetical guide because you can go down to the commentaries. And I usually don't stay within one particular denomination, though I am Baptist. I don't stick to a particular denomination. I'll pull from uh, the Catholics or the Eastern Orthodox or Presbyterians, depending on on what I'm trying to to quote and what I'm trying to learn. And it's good to have it broken down like this because then you can hone in on what your denomination actually teaches and compare it to the Catholics or the Eastern Orthodox or Lutherans or any other denomination of brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, the, the word study here, you can see, let me change this. I have, uh, I have agape up right now. If I just hit the G and then I do that, you believe that's how you do it and hit enter. Oh, I have to do it in English. Sorry. Uh, uh, ah, come on. G a gape. And you can see right here pulls it up and now we have the Lima, just like a regular word study, if typical that prior to the subscriptions. What's interesting here is that you can see that the Lima in the passages, uh, I do believe this is new and you can see that, you can see that it pulls from the uh, Ecclesiastics and the Old Testament 
and uh, the Lima passages and other Lima uh, Limas on there. Uh, I haven't played around with it too much, so I might have to play around with it, but I don't see too much change on the word study. Uh, and so I have to get you up to par on that in probably a week or so. Now, the fact check is uh, it, it extremely updated the fact check. And so you have a bunch of different options. We have agape up here that we're going that we that I searched when I was playing around with this. Uh, but you can see that you can search all which is going to search all your library or you can just use it as a biblical concept or the just your library alone. And so I usually do all uh, and we can type in uh, any word that you want. Uh, and and uh, and go from there like uh, forgiveness, and you just type it in, and it pulls up all the the uh, the passages. So now it pulls straight from Matthew. I do believe uh, that's where it's going to be found at first in the New Testament. And if I change it to to just the biblical concept. Uh, you can see that it pulls out over here. And if I change it to library, now I have commentaries that talk about uh, talk about uh, forgiveness, even though that it pulled from from Matthew 28, so forth. And then you have the sermons down here that you can go through and uh, and look at and you can make it longer depending on your library that you have uh, with the subscription. I think you and the max subscription, you I think you get nine hundred and sixty books. I have to you have to go look fact check me on that, but I do believe you get quite a bit. Uh, I usually keep it on, on the, the all, uh, theological. You can see that, uh, I do not have any articles. I, I have the articles usually don't help me. And I think there's a setting that you have to, um, you have to click on add a plus or something like that, but just stay on all. And you can probably go like John three sixteen. And now we have John 3, 16. We have all the peoples and places on there and Jesus, and then it breaks it down. So this is actually a really, really cool tool. We can see that we uh, is pulling from the media and the, the sermons, which if you're writing a, an article, you can pull from the media. If you'd like, you can see that it has a um, it has a, a fragment of uh, probably John 3, 16. And then we can see that the fact check book, uh, the, the, the BDAG lexicon, you can see that you can pull from there. And then it goes, uh, dig deeper. This part is, uh, is new to it. And it says that you can pull from the Bible and the commentaries and you can just see what happens when you click on it. And now look right there. Now we have it side by side. Now we're looking up this particular commentary. And now we have where other people have the highlights. If you don't have the other people's highlights on, I highly suggest you turn them on because it does help quite a bit. Uh, but anyway, that is how you do, um, how the entry, the uh, uh, basics, if you will, on how to use the new subscription and if you do find this video helpful it would highly i would highly appreciate you like and subscribe and share this video and use that link in the description box to uh join the the logos family and if you use that link and you need help setting up your library i can face or not facetime i can um zoom with you and walk you through it because once you get logos it is a little learning curve and uh, if you do use that link that does help me and will help you, I will link up with you via Zoom and uh, we'll, we'll, I'll help you learn all the tricks and traits that I've already learned because I've been using it for, I don't know, probably five, seven years. Other than that, I will see you on the next video.